Hi, I'm Corbin Stewart outside the St. Albert Family Resource Center. What is usually bustling with children has now become mostly a deserted office space, save for a few staff members working. Austin Schuster has that story. Thanks, Corbin. I'm here at the St. Albert Family Resource Center, where 9 out of 13 employees tested positive for COVID-19. It's got to make you wonder, what does that do to a business? Well, we were forced to shut down all our in-person programs. So we had to cancel oh, several programs, which was a real disappointment for many of the families in our community. It meant that staff were sick, so they weren't able to do their jobs because they were sick with COVID. So there was a lack of services in the community because of that as well. Um, it also impacted um, our reputation in the community because now we've been declared an outbreak status. And so people can go onto the website and see us listed there, which I believe in the long term may impact how families come to the center. With the AHS outbreak status, the Family Resource Center in St. Albert has faced many challenges. The biggest issue has been like the engagement of it. Some families just aren't um, familiar with online and Zoom and, and or Facebook Live, however platform we use. So, and it's a little intimidating for them. They like Obviously, they like the more face-to-face, -face, that connection. And so that's been a challenge. And maybe some families don't always have um, the technology available for them to um, participate in online. What sort of sanitization measures have been taken by the Family Resource Centre here in St. Albert? So we had to purchase some... Uh, like a lot of PPE and then um, put hand sanitizers um, throughout the uh, agency. Um, we also, for cleaning measures for um, the touchable surfaces, we, per, uh, we um, purchased this, it's like um, a sanitary gun and it has a cleaner that will clean everything in surfaces, touch surfaces within minutes. And it's food grade, so we can also spray all the toys. So when the kids come into the program to play with them, they're all, you know, if a lot of kids mouth uh, toys, so um, they are able to, you know, uh, provide that security. So if they're in their mouths and, and all the surfaces, and we just upped our protocols, like sanitizing wipes, everything. Despite the tribulations faced by the St. Albert Family Resource Center, business still continues to serve the North Edmonton and St. Albert area during these troubled times. I'm Austin Schuster, checking in from the St. Albert Family Resource Center, signing off. Back to you, Corbin. Thanks for that, Austin. We'll be monitoring the situation at the St. Albert Family Resource Center closely. Back to you, McEwen.